What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Dwayne spotted with another woman, Carmen and Boogie back together. Let's get it. Boogie may have broken up after they unfollowed each other on Instagram. Then Boogie went on to his Facebook to tell everyone to mind their business because no one knew what was really going on. And it appeared that they were also throwing subliminals at each other on social media. Well, it seems like mm. everything is all good now. I'm in a calm era. I just pray and let things be. I'm in a done era. Not mad, not bothered, just done. Because Carmen and Boogie are following each other on Instagram again, and Carmen posted up a photo with Boogie playing the song by Beyonce, Love Drought. So maybe they had a little issue and unfollowed each other, then decided to work things out. But let's move on to this next topic with Neek and Dwayne. Now, Neek recently confirmed that she and Dwayne are no longer together. Now, in a previous video, I reported that Dwayne went on a podcast and had nothing but good things to say about Miss Neek. Now, it appears that this podcast may have been recorded before Neek and Dwayne broke up. Well, Dwayne is back in town for what appears to be Thanksgiving break, and he was spotted in the car with a young lady. Now, in this TikTok, Dwayne was in the car oh God, in and the they car? zoomed in oh on his God. glasses, and you can see the reflection <laughs> a girl there. There. Now people are as really be thinking they doing some shit. <laughs> Assuming that that girl is, of course, none other than Neek. Someone even left in the comment section, he definitely with Neek. They came to my job to buy a new phone that same day. Wow. Not to mention the car that he's riding in seems very similar mm. to Neek's Range Rover. So I don't want to speak too soon, but maybe they're giving things another try as mm. well. But now let's move on to this next topic with Mr. DDG. Now he was recently on a podcast did Nick not talk himself and he spoke on why it's difficult for him to work with females mm -hmm. in the industry yeah, I feel like in this state in my career slash like personality mm -hmm. or whatever I feel like uh, females especially is scared of me in a way like how like I don't know like for like, like girls dating? girls don't like me for real off first impression like when they meet you or you feel like what they know from the internet? What they know from the internet. Mm -hmm. oh, like yeah. whether it's like girls in the industry. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think I can work with a female artist right now for real. Really? Like because you feel like it's Cause they so much stuff around you. Mm -hmm. Basically. A few days ago, Queen tweeted mm -hmm. out, clout is a drug. Now people assumed that she was talking on Chris Sells, so much so mm -hmm. that she had to go back and state, I'm back here to say, I don't know what y'all talking about under here. This post was not about who y'all think. Yeah, then she went on to Twitter and stated, I hate when blog pages really take my tweets and direct them to whoever they want them to. Right, Be blog. loud and wrong. Someone responds with, I, I know you I'm tired of being attached to somebody like you that. haven't been with in seven years. Queen states, so very tired. So recently, Corey posted on his Instagram that he... Wait, because that distracted me. Back in state, I'm... Tweeted out, clout is a... Industry. People <laughs> assumed that she was talking on Chris Sells, so much so that she had to go back in state. I'm back here to say, I don't know what y'all talking about under here. This post was not about who y'all think. Then she went on to Twitter and stated, I hate when blog pages take my tweets and direct them to whoever they want them to. Be loud and wrong. Someone responds with, I know you tired of being attached to somebody you haven't been with in seven years. Queen states, so very tired. So recently, oh, Corey know. posted on his Instagram that he's missing his kids. He states, they mom said I don't deserve to see them. It's been seven months. I haven't seen my two youngins at all. A lot of you females ain't got shit to offer. Oh my god. Like the only thing a lot of you females got to offer is the dial list. And a lot of y'all have problems. Like a lot of you women ain't bringing no value to the table, bro. But y'all be acting like y'all are all that when the whole time y'all really not that. Y'all really just hate eat. women. Y'all like to attach yourself to men that really got something going on with themselves just to make y'all feel better because like that's y'all security, I would say. He really act like he hate women. It's so bad. 
Y'all got to tighten up, bro. Yeah, I'm gay, cause I'm gay. It is what it is, but I'm just saying realistically, all jokes aside, like, is it all women or the women you attract, sir? Like, y'all ain't got shit for it. Most of y'all don't. What you put out in the universe, what you getting back. Got nothing. But y'all look for niggas with something. Why don't y'all get something and find somebody with something or get something and I don't and know. And find man. somebody with something just... about to repeat it again. Yeah. And then y'all get mad because y'all be getting nothing ass niggas. But the whole time y'all really ain't got nothing nigga. <laughs> you got you got your another you. So now you guys leave your opinions yeah, on that like, down in the comment section said. below. Now, Corey's also showing off that he's not broken. He indeed went and bought a $200,000 Mercedes. Let's just see what bought on real quick. We got that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah, we, got the double, we got the double sunroof. We got the double, the double panoramic. You feel what I'm saying? Interior going crazy. I know I love me some black interior. I like the black interior. I love the, I love the lights in this summer gun. Like, that shit done nasty. You feel me? Yeah, the air, you know what I'm saying? Look at the, uh, ooh. Where, where is the, the, this don't look like a new car. Maybe it's used, but just saying. Okay. You feel me? I just want to ride comfy. You feel me? I just want to be Maybe comfy. I don't like white cars, but you know, I feel like we're going, we're going, we're going presidential right. right now. You feel what I'm saying? We're going, we're going presidential right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just in case, because you know they, they always on my dick, so let me show, show us something real quick. Hold up, let me show us something real quick. You see that? You see that right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. $3,000 a month for a car? Oh, annual fuel cost. I was about to say. But it'd probably be $1,500 a month, not $1,500. $1, I could be wrong, but it's just what it's looking like. You see that right there? 100 miles on her. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. All right. That's how we fucking coming, gang. You know what time it is? It's okay to win no shop. It's okay to win no shop, y'all. Some of y'all win no shop all the time, but listen, sometimes you gotta manifest it, okay? I've been there before. I win no shop my whole success. That's how I became a millionaire at the age of 19 years old. And I just kept going up. You feel what I'm saying? I elevated and elevated and elevated because every time I reach one goddamn level, I say, you know what? I see me going to another level. And I just, I manifested, I went to another level, and I just did it again. Now I'm on a whole nother level. Now I'm elevating even higher. You see what I'm saying? With my corn dog head ass. Yeah, with my broke ass. Yeah, with my fell off ass. Yeah. Ooh, thank God eight minutes here because baby out of hearing y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey